Welcome to Business Reporter's Future of Retail campaign. I'm Rachel Hicks. New privacy regulations around data have forced an overhaul in the way in which brands use consumer data to market their products to would-be customers. The era of fast and loose data, best characterised by the ability of brands to hyper-personalise their content and advertise at scale through the likes of Facebook and Google, is no longer. Now, marketeers need to know their customers and offer a value exchange to consumers to incentivise long-term engagement. So how can brands who previously knew their customers stay in touch? And not only to get to know them, but to interact with them in such a way that they remain loyal in the long term. In short, we're about to discover how brands can turn the unknown customer into the known customer by talking to Richard Jones from Cheetah Digital. Good morning, Richard. Morning, Rachel. How have the new technology and new privacy regulations transformed the landscape for present day online retail from that of, say, a decade ago? Yeah, well, the era of, of fast and loose data is definitely ending. I mean, it used to be uh, very easy to hyper personalize content at scale uh, using platforms like Facebook and Google and a whole coterie of different third party data integrations. So you didn't really have to know who your customers were in, in, in any kind of detail because those platforms and their their uh, data partnerships could do it for you. But of course, privacy regulations like CCPA and GDPR uh, and new consumer attitudes to privacy privacy are actually starting to bite and big tech is half, having to actually respond, most notably with the death of the third party cookie, making it much harder for marketers to snoop on consumers, to know about them, to be able to personalize their marketing. You know, at the end of the day, I'll give you an example. I, uh, I actually went to have a, a hernia operation um, and I literally came back uh, and was sort of coming around from the meds 12 hours later, went onto Facebook and I started to get hit by advert saying, hey, you know, did your hernia operation go wrong? Um, would you like to to call uh, our lawyer uh, service? So, you know, th that's clearly an invasion of, of privacy. What effect is this having on the ability of brands to build direct to consumer relationships? Well, you, ha you actually have to know who your customers are, right? This can't be faked anymore. You need actual relationships to understand your customers so you can ask them about themselves. Now, actual Google recommends that uh, marketers start to build out these first party relationships. And they've said that they will support any advertisers that have those first party relationships. And then the IAB has gone one step further and starts talking about how marketers need to think about what's the value exchange that's going to incentivize consumers to have that direct relationship with brands and retailers. And so they come up with things like, you know, being able to offer free services or personalized discounts. But perhaps most importantly, they recommend building out contextually differentiated experiences where the consumer gets desirable bonus for a certain action, e.g. loyalty programs that feel personalized to that individual. So is survival down to how much money a brand has for marketing, or are there much more complex processes going on that need to be analyzed? No, it, it definitely isn't all about how much money uh, you have. If you think about the sheer volume of, of uh, advertising dollars that are put into digital advertising today, I mean, Q4 of, of 2020 was an absolute record-breaking year in t a quarter in terms of the amount of money put into digital advertising. So we're spending huge amounts of money on y using the channels that are there today with digital advertising. Now, if you think about what kind of financial return is coming to brands that actually invest in a loyalty program, Program, you can start to see the opportunity. So there is a significant opportunity to divert money from digital advertising and actually investing in things that build out that direct to consumer relationship like loyalty programs. And there's a big payback for those that do. 
So what's the solution you're offering to address this crisis for brands in terms of incentivizing direct to consumer yeah so we we offer something called the customer engagement suite and it's the first platform that really puts a value exchange uh, at the heart of customer engagement strategy so firstly we have a set of life cycle apps that help you manage the the customer life cycle that sit on top of what we call a customer data platform now this enables you to put it uh, feeds in from every single customer interaction on any channel into the CDP that helps you understand who your cons- customers are. We also have Cheeto Experiences. There's a platform that allows you to offer a value exchange in return for customers' data and their consent, which helps you build your, your database. We have Cheetah Messaging, which is uh, our cross-channel uh, engagement uh, uh, platform. And then we have Cheetah Personalization, that helps you map and manage customer journeys so that every consumer has a personalized experience with you, whatever channel they engage with you on, and wherever they are in the customer lifecycle. And then lastly, Cheetah Loyalty helps you define the long-term incentives for consumers to encourage that direct relationship over the long term. So you say you want to turn the unknown consumer to the known. Exactly how do you go about doing this? Yeah, so offer a value exchange. Um, That's the way to do it. So things like uh, sweepstakes, quizzes, instant wins, promotions are quite often used as vehicles to actually give that value exchange to consumer in return for them giving you information about them, themselves, giving you their consent so that you actually know who they are. So you can do those types of things to collect uh, data directly from consumers, to ask them about themselves so that they tell you willingly and transparently. And then you can augment this, this data by collecting and analyzing all of your first party data interactions with customers as well. So that's when they go onto your website. What do they look at? You know, what emails do they open, et cetera. This is surely expensive. How can brands be sure that their money is being well spent? Well, I mean, it isn't expensive when you consider that really what we're suggesting to people, in fact, what Google and the IAB are recommending to people is to divert some of the money that they put into uh, digital advertising into programs that build a first party relationship. And there is no better way of doing that than loyalty programs. So can a brand sustain itself in the modern age without customer loyalty? Um, I'd say probably um, for a year or so, as some of these privacy changes start to take hold and to really bite, it's possible. But the reality is, is more and more consumers move on to things like iOS 14 has some of these privacy regulations baked in, you're going to see a dramatic drop off in the effectiveness of digital advertising. So really, if you're asking me three years from now, will brands and retailers be able to compete without loyalty programs? I would say no. Richard Jones, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.